Hey guys, I'm Steve. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a few minutes to replace the hydraulic motor on my Mongo attachment high inertia flail mulcher. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, really, it's about four bolts. So let's get to work. I'll All right. What you got to do first is you obviously you got to get the whole top off, the two access covers, and then the plate that, that hooks to the machine. Get them off. That's a 22 millimeter. That's pretty straightforward. I have access to the three hydraulic lines and the hydraulic motor. Really, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, obviously, you got to take off your three hydraulic lines. They are going to be uh, the supply line, the return line, and the case drain. From there, once you get them out of the way, you just need a eight millimeter uh, hex head or Allen, and you just put it in these bolts. There's four of them. There's one there, one there, and there's two on the bottom side. It's best to use this extension. That way, you can get it get it underneath there and get your ratchet on it. Those four bolts come out. That whole motor assembly will slide right out. It'll be just like this. It'll slide right out. It's gear driven, so there's no reason to take out the entire, uh, the bearing housing and taking off the pulleys and all that stuff. You just slide it right out and then you get the new one and you slide it right in. If, you, if you're having trouble getting the teeth lined up, just give the, the mulcher head a, a little bit of a bump with your hand, just turn it, and this thing should slide right in. Tighten those four bolts up, put your lines back on, and you are good to go. All right, I hope that helped you out. Uh, really, not a very hard job. That way you don't get confused and think you gotta take the whole pulley assembly apart and the bearing housing out. You know, four bolts and, and you're rolling. 